Hey guys, uh, second part of the ocean tutorial, ocean scene tutorial, and uh, let's add our materials, yeah? Alright, so let's start with the water. So let's right click on our water, go to the materials tab and add a new material. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to create a ramp. And let's just add a new marker or whatever. And let's just hit zero and zero and one and blue. Zero and zero and one on alpha also. Right, so now let's add a new marker. We don't want that deep blue to be too big. Or our white. I should probably move that down. And oops. And move this one down. Alright, now let's add oops, yeah. Add a new one. Actually did I put the alpha on this one? Alpha one. Alright. Now with this new one, let's actually just lighten it up. Does that change it? No, let's just move it to a blue. Of course alpha. And let's just add a new one, and that's basically what we're going to be doing. Uh, we, what we want is, um, we want to make, we, you, you can make it one color by just clicking right here, but ocean, ocean water isn't one color, usually. So, that's why, if you want to make it more realistic, you're going to have different colors in there. You can even have a green, you know, like a sea green or whatever. So, uh, that's what... We'll see if we can achieve here. I'll try. I'll try a green right down here. Yeah, just like that. And of course, alpha. And add a new marker. That makes it smaller or bigger, depending on where you place it. All right. So find any colors that suit you, and uh, let's work with that. So make sure your alpha is up so that you can actually blend this this color it can be more than just alright uh, let's hit shift B just click on this zero for the camera shift B just so we can render one small portion of it see if it works yeah okay this would be the light source that's hitting it and its color doesn't look uniform does it Shift V on the outside. Now let's just render this whole thing, see how that looks. And I mean, it, it could be better, I guess. Just depends on how you arrange the colors. Alright. Actually, I just want to rearrange the camera. Hit RR so I can rotate that up. Grab that on the Z, just move that down. Alright, so I'm just gonna F12 and render that again. And okay, I think this color, whoa, right there. We can change that right there. Just right click on our light source. And I guess we can make this one darker blue. And our white. Oops. Like that, yes. A darker white, maybe, like a gray. All right, let's render that. Hmm. Okay, there's concentrated on some spots. That's not that's not what we want, right? Uh, let's change that color. Maybe a more grayish color. Surrender that. So yeah, just see see what it looks like and see see what you want to achieve. That's just a weird spot right there. It's, it's kind of delete that marker. Right, there we go. That should make it better. 
yeah, that, that looks better. You can also delete this marker back here if you want, you know. Depends on what you want to do. So that gray is less intensified. Yeah. Alright, so now I just want to also add a mirror modifier because water is slightly reflective, of course. Just close these so we can see this happening in real time. Alright, so now let's render this. And yeah, okay. I think that looks fine. Um, just play around with that. It depends on what you want to make, of course. So, that's what you do. Just change that. Alright, so... Now that we have that done, let's... Well, you don't have to material the ball. I'll just give it a simple material. Material. <laughs> Um, just maybe large white, maybe halfway around the ball, and add a deep red, maybe. On the other side of the ball. I think we should make that one red too. There we go. So you see it's red on one half and white on the other. Alright, so now let's add our texture. So just add a material for that one. Junior make the bag. Alright. And now let's go to the texture panel and add a new texture. You want to do a image or movie and just open any sand texture that you find off Google. Okay? And let's see what else we gotta do. Alright, that's how it would look. Let's render that. There we go. See our texture right here? So what we can actually do is if we want a more pronounced wave, I'm actually gonna bring that over. Well I guess we have to need to rotate it up a little. Bring that up a little. Yeah. Alright, so if you want a more pronounced wave, then just play the animation until you get the wave that you want. Like for me, I think that'd be fine. So hit F twelve to render. Ouch, alright. And there we go, there's our sand texture and there's our water texture. So now if you want, you can add a background image uh, using what I showed you in an, a different tutorial about using the compositor. Or I'm actually just going to try to do a world's color this time. A horizon, a dark horizon. Just to make it seem like, uh, actually I want blend sky. Alright, so now let's render that. And that's how our sky would look. I mean, um, I want a darker color, but you can, of course, get a lighter color. Um, depends on your scene, nighttime, daytime, whatever. See, it changes in the background. Uh, if you want to add a real image, like I had in my, let's go to compositor, compositing, just use some nodes, click on nodes. Drag this over, we're not going to use that, and deselect that thing right there. The node string or whatever. Add an image node, input image. Bring that up. Um, add a alpha over. I also found this out in, um, in a tutorial. I think it was an Andrew Price tutorial. I don't know if you guys heard of him. Alright, so now let's render that. Oh, of course, I need my image. Okay, well, that's dumb of me. Add an image. Go ahead and do it now. Alright. 
Now that we have the image, we should actually, there we go. Here's our sky tutorial. But what I saw is, let's control up arrow, make that full screen. Uh, what I saw is that it, it looks kind of weird around the edges. I don't know how to fix that. But if you guys do, please leave a comment below. But anyways, uh, so that's how you make an ocean scene. You can actually scale this out so it fills a whole screen if you want. Or do it with the camera view going this way and like looking out to the ocean. Or, you know, make a boardwalk scene or whatever. Alright, uh, thanks for watching. If you have any... Please comment. Uh, tell us how this went for you if you actually tried the tutorial. Uh, thanks.